The current weather is 82 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today's forecast is some sun and thunderstorms, with a high of 99 degrees and a low of 79 degrees. Verse of the day, Proverbs 12.25 Worry weighs a person down, an encouraging word cheers a person up. Loud praises to him who rides the clouds. The pit won't come. If I do go away, then I will send him to you. All right, all right. I know I've been MIA, but what matters is that I'm back, okay? I'm just gonna be yapping for a little bit. Today I'm gonna do a little vlog. I'm gonna go off with my friend. We'll just see what happens within the week and whatever else I put on this vlog. One reason why I've been away is because not only I am like a college student, of course it's not an excuse, but at the end of the day, I came to college to get my degree. So I did have to take a step back when it comes to doing like long form of content. Cause honestly, it takes a long time to edit. I didn't want to put out a bunch of videos that were like half effort. And then also just as a content creator, you realize that yeah, you can make your videos and stuff, but you kind of have to have any, you don't really need to, but it does help to have a niche and i feel like i don't want to just like make random videos i don't necessarily want to niche down but i know that i want to be able to have an impact on people and i already do that obviously yeah i just wanted to have my content to, to be more purposeful next i'm gonna go in with the green tea hyaluronic cream that's what it looks like so cute so mini it's like american girl doll size like do kids even know what american girl dolls are nowadays like y'all know how like the whole thing with the girls in sephora with the white elephant and da 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 they will never know the struggle of like not having an american girl doll and honestly they have like the best books i've been brainstorming when it comes to the direction i want my content to go in for like my youtube i want to do a little bit more christian based but for me personally i feel like my place 
isn't to mostly minister to people, but just showing the experience of being a Christian in the 21st century, especially just being in this age in college. Obviously, I'm going to give y'all a little one too. I feel like we don't see a lot of like, oh, day in my life as a Christian boy or girl like in college. And it's not easy. That's the thing that people don't tell you like, yeah, giving your life to Christ is a beautiful thing. And it's an amazing experience because our Lord and Savior was always going to do the things, you know, that we need but the thing is it's not just oh just because you believe in jesus you're gonna go to heaven no you have to believe in jesus you have to follow the laws in the bible you have to make the effort for yourself and i just learned that we're not fighting against flesh and blood we're fighting against the principalities and everything is spiritual and that's something that i've been having to learn it is kind of hard and you know it is what it is but we can you know fight against it we do have jesus to be able to help us out with that so yeah i feel like a lot of the content that I want to make nowadays, day in my life, a Christian girl figuring out. I don't know why I wanna, what I'd want to call this series, but I definitely want to, you know, do a lot of natural hair stuff again. Comment below like what y'all do. Like, are y'all also like college students? Are y'all just, you know, someone in your twenties? Are you Christian? Or are you trying to get into Christianity? Like, you know. Oh, I, I want to know. I want to know. I want to get to know y'all. Definitely want to, you know, build my community here on YouTube. Um yeah lately besides school school's been good dean's list of course but just besides like just being in my life is just really just finding what happiness means to me because you need to find happiness outside of money and people have to find that within you i feel like happiness for me having that peace which surpasses understanding that comes from god knowing that you're doing what you need to do being good to people and i also feel like there is just a lot of prosperity gospel you know yes god's gonna do a lot of great things for you but this world is not sunshine rainbows lemon drops and gun drops i didn't even plan what i was gonna say today i just needed to get up and start yapping and just turn on the camera yeah i really want to know like what kind of content that y'all want for me in the future this channel is really just gonna be just my journey as a christian girl that's trying to be better still like trying to figure it out in college and i feel like we need more of that because some people out in society be trying to act like they holier than thou but they be having sex outside of marriage they be trying to act they're holy and that holier than thou but they be judging and we do not have the place to judge only god can judge but as christians we can you know guide our brothers and sisters and i feel like we need more of that love out here what are some of y'all struggles as a christian i feel like i already, I think I already talked about this but honestly again like i said what i kind of struggle with is really just accepting the fact that everything is spiritual and for me, some of the things I can say, like I stopped listening to Beyonce because we know who she worshiped. Beyonce is not shy about like all those different things. And I was just kind of learning about other artists that are demonic and make like demonic music. You just really learn that not all secular music is bad. Secular is just anything that's just not of God, but there is secular music that's demonic and things that you should be listening to. And so it's really just like, you know, pivoting when it comes to those different things, just learn that like what can i indulge in you know what is for me what can i not like participate in because it's like dang it feels like every day something is demonic like honey pot is demonic uh rolex is demonic starbucks i feel like people been knowing but starbucks is demonic it is kind of hard sometimes but god never said that it was gonna be easy but that's whole the whole reason why we have jesus because we were supposed to cast our burdens onto jesus yeah i feel like i've been really into doing like the under lashes i don't know if that's like what you would necessarily call it but y'all know what my y'all know what i mean i feel like it just pulls a look together i'm not gonna lie a girl will need it and i'm getting lightheaded so i'm gonna finish this and like sit down and i'm gonna keep talking y'all after okay this is how we're coming this little fit i'm gonna show y'all when i got outside all right so clearly you can see that i added some lashes because i had a little blush a little lip but i'm just not feeling it so i just decided to what's it called just put those things on and so i got this coach watch i got this for like my graduation in high school so i feel like I just want to wear it today because I rarely wear it and I need to get his worth, you know, his gift. I try to be that person who wears or uses people's gifts a lot because, you know, people do have the kindness of their own heart. 
so so this is what it looks like and yeah anyway i'm gonna go and meet my other content creator friend sherelle so we can go golf um i met her in college and so she just graduated in the fall and i'm about to graduate like the next spring in jesus name I've been doing my best just to be more intentional with like my relationships and my friendships or well, friendships or relationships but yeah this all my relationships in my life because it's you know you have to cater to people I feel like there's not really such thing as a low maintenance person like I don't know those low maintenance friendship conversations I feel like they're just kind of weird to me because at first like I used to agree with it but then it's like mm, it's just giving like a pass just to be lazy in the society to just not reach out to people but yeah I'm gonna show y'all my outfit when I'm outside um if I remember so yeah the next time y'all gonna see me probably gonna be on golf course okay okay Yeah, so we're here with Sherelle, hey, my hey. other sister in Christ, so <laughs> we're gonna go hit the range. scarf that I turn into a bow. Um, I can't tell y'all where I'm from because it's from my mom's closet. This dress, I can't tell y'all because it's from my mom's closet. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good. Just came back from church. Pop look it was a bus. It was bus. It was too good. Like, and mind you, no foundation. Just a little small, like, little blush, little lip, little lashes, and just small concealer my eyelids and yeah just feeling good it's 7 p.m five is my five degrees i ain't got no and uh ain't got i'm about to show up anyway i did not feel like talking this morning because it was just supposed to be chill you know what i'm saying it is monday i don't know what the day is alexa what's the date it's monday may 27th it's may 27th and so today is Memorial Day, so my friend Talia and I, we're gonna go to Encore. So we're in Houston right now, Encore, uh, they have a pool there, and so they have an event. And so that's where we're gonna go in, because people in Houston don't wanna uh, grill. Like, we were a proper society, a proper people, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. At least the event is free, but like any beverages you gotta pay for. So we're gonna, you know, take care of ourselves. There's drinks at home. So that's what we're gonna do for the pregame. And of course, hydrate because they have a heat advisory today in Houston. And so the highest is gonna be 100 degrees, but because of the humidity, the heat index will be 115 degrees. It's another kind of gloomy day in Houston. That's the regular that's why i don't like it here houston is not all that to me personally i'm from the dallas area and we get more sun and that's really just me like i'm just a person who just really just wants a lot of sun in her life nowadays I and mean, not that i never did i kind of liked how it rained in houston but i feel like it's just way too cloudy for me especially just during the summer because it's supposed to be like fun in the sun not fun in the humidity in the clouds what that doesn't make sense so all products that y'all will see me use on my channels and whatnot you'll know it's sponsored because i'll say it's sponsored i actually choose to use these products because i actually like them so one thing about this product i think i already talked about it but this one a little 
a little goes a long way so even though we are gonna go to the pool i think i do plan on putting my head under the water i'm just trying to think like okay do i want to go natural maybe it's just a me thing but as a girl sometimes like you know you know you're that girl but sometimes like you also want to wear makeup and not like look like everybody else per se i wish that like some other girls also didn't always wear makeup because sometimes i don't want to wear makeup i don't want to seem underdressed facially i feel like that's like what i mean i'm not ugly my skin besides like you know this pimple for my cycle i got the nicest skin on the market okay as like i'm getting more into like makeup and i don't know just like getting into like my femininity some of the things that i'm learning is that black girls be tanning i used to tan all the time in the summer but not on purpose well actually sometimes on purpose but it's because i was a lifeguard summer 16 17 and 18. so i was a lifeguard at hurricane harbor and so i was in the sun all the time and concurrently that's the word i how you pronounce it i was also in band and so when you're in marching band you know you you in that summer camp so i was just in the sun all day every day and i got like really dark and so for me i'm a little lighter because i'd be inside i'm not gonna lie i'd be inside i really like the milk primer you can see how much i like it like it's literally peeling coming off milk if y'all wanna send me some products you know i wouldn't even be mad because i really like this and this one was not gifted to me like I bought this with my own money. It's a product that I really like. I'm not that much into makeup, so I don't know all the ins and outs, but I do know what I feel like does and does not work for me. This product does. We're gonna keep buying. Let me know what y'all usually do for Memorial Weekend. For me, if I was back at home in Arlington, I'd be most likely just doing stuff with like my um like my, my cousins on my mom's side and people from my church. Cause we all grew up together, we all go to the same king and church. And so usually we'll do something together. But I'm in Houston right now, obviously. I'll probably go back home for like fourth of July or something like that. Cause again, people in Houston don't really be doing that then. And sometimes you should don't want to be doing Houston stuff. If you know, you know. And so I think I'm just gonna just light concealer around my eyes and just a little bit of blush that's it i don't want to do too much makeup while that is dry i'm just do my little lip makeup so one thing about me i love me a little black lip liner and when i was like still getting into makeup a girl used to just have a line not even like blend it in or nothing so when i look back at some of my older pictures i'm like bro no one was gonna tell me to like blend it in like y'all fake what are some of the things when it comes to makeup that y'all had to learn the hard way or you wish that like somebody told you yeah what's y'all's favorite part about makeup i feel like my favorite part is the lashes because like the lashes you can have the same makeup but depending on the lash i feel like it gives a different story it's a different character i used to pretty much just wear the same lash for everything but i realized that i like to have a more like not necessarily sparse but a more natural lash with like a wing i love me lashes that have a little wing like it just gives that je ne sais quoi i used to wear like really really big lashes but now as now i was at hey i can't talk now as i am maturing i'm going for more minimalist type lashes but still again i'm kenyan so i'm still be a little bit extra it's still gonna have a little flare but not too much not so ghetto i feel like the lashes i used to have a little bit ghetto you know you gotta come from somewhere you're gonna have an ugly phase before you get to the cute phase i don't know other people's like favorite part of makeup is concealer or like blush for me i just know that heavy blush is not for me or at least the shade that i have because it's cute i like it for myself i kind of want more like kind of reddish orange blush and so i tried this one brand i don't know what it's called but if i can find it i'm gonna like put it up on the screen i'm gonna go in with the maracuja juicy shift i don't even know what to call it but it's like one of those like ph things so like well this is like green but when you put on your lips it's like it changes color it's supposed to match and i love to have this on my skin for my lips and then my cheeks and then yeah when you put on your cheeks you want to like blend it fast and so it's not like those little just streaks that you just put on your cheek okay it definitely looks way better on camera like because in person it's looking crazy i'm not gonna lie but trust the process y'all can tell i really like this because i've had it for a long time to the point where this thing is peeling but you know it still works so this is the fenty gloss balm 
I don't know what it's called, but it's the one, it's in fruit snacks. So we're going for like a red vibe because that's the color of my swimsuit. So I'm gonna go for like a cherry cola type vibe. Worst case scenario, if makeup starts coming out, it's literally just powder. So it's not gonna look like super crazy or anything. Oh yeah, this is waterproof. Okay, so this is a matte waterproof face and body bronzer in Sadiq Tan, Pave Avenue Princess. And then this is what it looks like. So this is what I'm gonna put on my my lids because I don't know, I just really like this color on my lids. Like it just makes me happy and it's just, oh, it's just nice. Yeah, I feel like this look is kind of cute for like no makeup makeup look. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily go this route. This is only what I do for like the pool because I'm trying to get in the pool. And this is the Too Faced Born This Way Illuminating Concealer in Honeygram. This is my shade, bro. I love this. And apparently like there's this girl who used to work at Sephora. And so pretty much the girl said that the Sephora concealer is the same exact thing as this concealer. And so you know what I did? I went to the store to see if I could find the exact shade of this concealer. Because I, when I say I love this concealer, I love it. I feel like it gives me a nice highlight and it just gives exactly what it's supposed to give. I went to try out the concealer to see if she was like, you know, telling the truth. Because some of people be capping. And yeah, she was right. It did take me a little minute, but I swatched all the shades and i found the exact shade when i say it's literally the same it's literally saying down to the undertones it just came in clutch no because i really really like this but i wanted like in a bigger shade and for the normal concealer for born this way it doesn't come in this exact shade and i tried those other ones and it just like, kind of look weird on me so it's like a between shade i should have just did normal makeup why was i trying to be different now i want to wash it no, we're going to stay committed. I don't know. I feel like this is coming out really good. I ain't going to hold you. I'm going to go in with the Marajuku Lip Gloss Plumping and Mixed Berries. Okay. Six and a half hours later. That was we were, okay. So basically, we went to a place called Encore. That was a clip right before. That was a little bit before four. By the time it was like four forty-eight, I get to the gate right. Mind you, it's like one of those places where you get the ticket, but it's free before a certain time. So the it, for this place, it was free before four. And so basically, I get to the front of the line. And they're like, I don't know, we've been letting people in since 2 p.m. And so I'm not there to argue with someone. So by the time I got there, it was 4.48. It was a hit or miss, because the person at the door was a girl. If it was a guy, I feel like we could have finessed. So basically, Talia and I, my friend, we went to the Icon Best by UH first. And then after that, we went to Tap 40. So those were supposed to be moves. We were there at Tap 40 for a minute. Now we're at another place. I can't talk about the location, about this place that we're at. But now we lit. Now we can have a time. So let me tell you, no matter where I've been tonight, every single guy complimenting me on my swimsuit. Hmm? Maybe it's the red, but you know, I feel like it's cute. I feel like it's cute. Like, I'm not doing too much. My hair is cute. My makeup is cute. But yeah. So, so you know, play. I'm just so glad that we're finally here. No more, no more weird people. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I don't know if I was still filming for tonight, but that's not for that. <laughs> Five in the morning, I wake up at five for my earnings. In a way, it's really five. I've been awake since like five, five what? Welcome. You have now been initiated in the 5 a.m. club. It's actually a 541, but that still counts as 5 a.m. club. Okay, don't play with me. But yeah, I got home at a I think I got home just a little bit before 11. I don't know, just that 
by the time I got in the shower and like when I say I showered it's almost as if I could wash away my own sins but obviously you know that's not me I'm not Jesus but like I had a good scrubbing a good scrubbing so like if y'all aren't using like shower gloves or like the african sponge or whatever what are you doing like how do you for real get clean like i need to see you know that dead skin coming off of me yeah like i did a really 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 good scrubbing i did like a double cleanse method first i used my native body wash and that one is in the scent sea salt and that one is like in my family size so like i really get to pump in get it all nice and lathery it doesn't leave my skin dry after that i use my i think it's pronounced lacetone i use their almond shower oil and that one is so mm. It smells so good. Mind you, not sponsored. They gave it to me that along with the hand cream and the cuticle oil. And I really genuinely like those products. Me being in college, I personally wouldn't go out and buy it for myself because how expensive they are. But if you got money like that, which I'm gonna have money like that very soon, just speaking it into existence for this summer in Jesus' name. But yeah, if you have money like that, it's a very nice gift for you or somebody else. I really, really like it. Yeah, if y'all haven't used the shower oil before, basically it goes on like any oil mind you i haven't really used shower oil so i don't know if they all turn into like a soap when they get wet this is my first shower oil but yeah basically that's what it does it's like a actual oil when you have it on your body and then once it comes in contact with water it suds up that's how it is and it just gives like a luxurious feel just at home spa vibes and honestly especially just the way things are becoming in the economy first of all spots are just very very expensive the only thing that i'll do is like go to sauna i literally have a video about that that's on my bougie with a budget campering i don't know, remember what it's called i'm not gonna lie we gotta start learning how to do things at home you can still do what you do every once in a while but you don't have to spend money on certain things all the time it's actually better better to learn how to do things at home because one is going to be cheaper you can customize your own experience you got to have that really intimate time with yourself and i feel like it's really good you know bonding i'm about to edit so we're really gonna get to yapping <laughs> pretty mid all right get into it another video coming up and so i'm so excited i'm pretty sure by the time y'all see this video this video is already going to be posted so this is my california vlog still here with my friend talia sipping you know margaritas because we're grown women we're grown so cozy as it is they just posted it two days ago now this one's how we're mm, wait a minute Go ahead and message him right now. Not only is a three bedroom bath. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Not only is a three bedroom, but it's three and a half bath. So still a guest bathroom. Everybody wins. All right, so the other place, we just had to leave because our devices were dying and I don't know if y'all have ever experienced outlets where they're loose and your stuff just like falls out. But yeah, that's what we were experiencing. So now we're at Brass Tacks and I'm gonna show y'all the inside. But when I say this place is so pretty, it's so pretty. So we already got the food, you know the vibes because some girls is hungry, but this place is so beautiful. Like it's a vibe, it's a vibe. Basically we ordered fries and the first ones they were like, basically maybe a small part was actually warm, but it was basically cold. Did we finish it? Yeah, because we're hungry and duh. But one thing about me, I'm gonna get my money's worth because why was it cold? So we did order new fries. We just got these and it's warmer, but it's not piping hot. So I don't think I'd order fries here anymore, but the songs are pretty decent. And then where we're specifically sitting at, we're connected to the Wi-Fi, but there's like no internet. I think it's kind of weird. But overall, the experience, the atmosphere of this place is very pretty. 
but I think I just wouldn't order fries here again. I mean, I wonder if the, their other food is warm. It should be. That's crazy. Hey y'all, this is my new friend Kayla. She's from New York.